Hi YouTube, um, in this video I will show you guys how to calculate electricity bill uh, by using C++. So let's start. This program is quite long, so uh, I hope you understand this video and let's get started. So, okay guys, as you can see that uh, if uh, we have units, for example, if units consume between 1 to 100, the charges are uh, four dollars per unit. Let's just say if we have if we have fifty units, I mean that if our meter that electricity meter consumes fifty units, so per unit there is a four dollar charge. It means that fifty multiplied by four, and you will get your bill. So if we have two uh, hundred uh, between hundred to two hundred, means that it comes this hundred as well. Uh, let me just change the marker. So this hundred and include this hundred as well. This hundred and this hundred to two hundred. Okay. Charges are six dollar and and if we have a bill uh, two hundred to four hundred means that in these includes all three. So the charges of 1 to 100, 1 to 200, and 200 to 400. So if uh, if that bill cost uh, between uh, 400 to 1, th uh, 900 means that uh, charges for 400 to 10 dollar means that include this 4 dollar, 6 dollar, 8 dollar, and then what happens that first we our programs multiply by one between that 100 unit multiply by 4 then add them uh, then multiply by 100 units 200 uh, multiply by 6 then add 6 with this multiplication this answer and ok guys this is quite complex let's just say we have 150 units we have 150 units means that uh, let's open this calculator means that it comes 1 to 100 units and 50 units like this our meter goes from 1 to 100 okay so let's just say we have total we have total uh, 150 units okay 100 units are this and 50 units are from because it exceeds that uh, charges four dollar for one to hundred, and from there it will move through this condition means that six dollar. What our program is gonna do that hundred multiply by four dollar, and then which is four hundred and fifty multi multiply by six dollar which is three hundred then four hundred plus three hundred is uh, uh, let's calculate it so this is our bill now we are going to cal uh, create a program uh, which is going to find out uh, electricity bill by entering units so let's do this ok guys um, preprocessor directive header file is going to use IO stream sorry conio.h over here conio.h is used for uh, get ch um, for um, to hold the screen main function comes to get ch just hold our screen now we need data type Integer. Let's go for integer and uh, unit. Let's name our variable unit. Okay. So enter units between. Nine hundred. 
I mean our program can calculate units for one between one to nine hundred. Uh, that's why we have mentioned it. So okay, we are done over here. Now second things our condition comes and We are going to use if condition that if unit unit U N I T less than what's our first condition less than hundred less than one hundred less than equals to one hundred what our program is gonna do that we need another variable uh, let's name that bill. Okay, I will show you what is the purpose of bill over here. B I double O bill equals to unit static four. What happens then? If our units are ninety nine, let's just say ninety nine. So our bill comes in one to hundred means that uh, it will multiply with four dollar. Four dollar because we know that between one to hundred uh, charges are four dollar. That's why it will multiply it by four. Next condition we are going to use is else if else if units are less than equals to two hundred. What happens that the amount of electricity bill is going to store in this variable bill. that if let me write the statement and then I will explain you how it is working. Okay guys for example, let's just say uh, that uh, amount of bill has been exceeded from 100. Let's just say that I, I have told you that it is 150. What happens that one, uh, so 100 multiplied by 4 because there are 100 units. Because the cost of 100 units is $4. Whatever program did over here multiplied by 4. Then over here, what happens that what happens that it multiply by 4 for example if they are 150 100 multiplied by 4 what happens that it minus that 100 which has already been multiplied uh, let me show you we are having bill 150 the cost of 100 unit is 4 dollars Hundred multiply by four, we will get our desired amount. So there is a units are one fifty. So hundred minus units that our program did that we don't need this hundred unit which has already been multiplied. We get its rate because it's four dollar. Now, the units which are left is 50 because it is mi it has been minus by 100 and it 150 minus by 100, 50 is left. Okay, so 50 will be multiplied by 6 because we know that the charge of between 1 to 200 is uh, uh, 6 dollar. So it has been exceeded by 100 means that uh, 100 multiplied by 4 and 50 multiplied by 6. Uh, let me repeat it for those who still don't understand that for example we have 150 units okay 150 units the charges of 100 units are 4 and 50 and that uh, that's why uh, 100 multiplied by 4 so it is 400 400 okay 
what happens that we get our 400 bill 400 units so total is 150 so it will minus the units by 100 for example 150 minus by 100 left 50 so 50 multiplied by 6 because uh, it is uh, between 100 to 200 and it has uh, $6 charges are 450 so it will multiply by 6 and then uh, 50 uh, so we get 300 so 300 plus 400 we get our bill uh, 700 so that's how our programs are going to work multiplied by 4, 200 multiplied by 6 that if uh, units exceeded from 200 and between 200 to 400 so what happens that uh, the charges of 100 dollars multiplied by 4 the charges between uh, 100 to 200 multiplied by 6 and that will be minus by 200 and the uh, units which are left will be multiplied by 8 like which uh, I explained you in before so that that's how it's all work. Now let's go for another value, which is um, uh, units else if less than equals to nine hundred, which is uh, the rate of uh, between uh, four hundred to nine hundred is ten dollar. Let's include it. SL4 plus 300 is direct 6 plus 400 is direct 8 plus unit minus 400 multiplied by 10. So now we are going to write your bill is all right our program is done over here what happened that these all statements are checked if that uh, units value is exceeded then 100 200 and if it's between 200 to 400 this statement is execute and all charges are, have has been placed now let's run this program and find out the answers so this is our program and entry units between 100 to 900 let's just say 200 so we will get our desired bill Let's try 150. What happens? See what happens. 150, 700. So I hope you like this video. Still don't understand anything. Just do let me know. Right.
write down a comment below and this is my new channel uh, just share it like it subscribe it and stay classy guys